Learning in FOSS is centered around active investigation. Let's explore what this means for you and your students. FOSS is a program that doesn't require teachers to be science experts. The developers at the Lawrence Hall of Science have spent the last 25 years in real classrooms, perfecting the activities to make sure they work in all situations. That translates into making your job easier. Why do you think theirs has a bigger delta than yours? Because ours didn't... From planning to facilitating the investigation, you'll have the support you need to be successful. Planning for an investigation starts with the Investigations Guide. You'll find step-by-step -step information designed to provide you with everything you need to feel comfortable as you facilitate the investigation. The at-a-glance chart at the beginning of every FOSS investigation provides a snapshot of each part in an investigation, including content, what students will write and read, and how you'll assess student work. You'll also have detailed step-by-step -step information on how to set up each part of the investigation. The Investigations Guide directs you on exactly what needs to be done to manage the materials throughout the activities. You'll know what is needed for every strategy, such as word walls, and online resources such as interactive whiteboard activities. Boys and girls, on Monday, we did an investigation. Before students start an investigation, it's important to provide focus. FOSS does this by challenging students with a focus question. The focus question is often the first thing students put in their science notebooks, followed by their thoughts and observations. I would like you and your partner to take out the D-cell and the motor. Once students know the challenge, then it's time for them to begin an investigation that answers the focus question. With FOSS, students collaborate and are fully engaged as they take ownership of their learning. They help manage the materials as they collect them at the start of an activity and organize and return them afterwards. That leaves teachers free to focus on facilitating the activities with the help of the tips and strategies provided in the investigations guide. As students perform the activities, they are using science and engineering practices. They use their science notebooks to record data, along with their questions and ideas. So if it did not complete the circuit, it's a no. And if it completed the circuit, it's a yes. With FOSS, technology is incorporated into the investigations. The program seamlessly integrates interactive whiteboard activities, virtual investigations, tutorials, videos, and more. Reading is an integral part of science learning. FOSS Science Resources books provide students with regular encounters with informational text and science vocabulary. The text and illustrations are tied to their previous experiences and knowledge gained from FOSS active investigations. Does anybody know what kind of a circuit that is? At the end of the investigation comes the most important part, extracting its meaning. Students discuss the activities and communicate their conclusions using evidence they generated through the investigation. Assessment is a critical part of instruction, and FOSS provides a combination of pre-assessments, informal formative assessments, and summative assessments to effectively measure student progress. Throughout the active investigations, there are ongoing opportunities for you to perform formative assessments through discussions and reviews of student notebooks and other work. iCheck assessments check student progress at the end of each investigation. Teaching science should be as fun for teachers as it is for students. Following the clear step-by-step -step guidance in FOSS, teachers can easily facilitate hands-on investigations that lead to in-depth understanding of the core ideas of science. Give FOSS a try and discover the impact that our carefully developed, engaging science investigations will have on your students.